one of Patreon subscribers, we got a buy on AU, and um, they have sold it, as you can see, that black line. So the average line, they have shorted it. So we, you could argue we, are, we should be coming up to get the stockless cluster. One below is quite large, and we're quite close. So it might just want to get that, and then we can maybe potentially bounce from taking those stops. It's not that far away. Uh, the buyers are in control. So it might be that it's going to possibly not get that stop loss cluster. We're going to get the one above, but they're quite close. And um, so that's a buy, and that's a buy. We had the buy crossover from the 21 moving average. Yeah, uh, yeah, round about there. So you know you're looking to enter the crossover. So let's look at uh, EU. We'll look at pound as well because yeah, that GDP beat uh, EU uh, that loads. <laughs> I think we might potentially. I think we might be getting some of these stops below just because it might just want to get stops, you know. And we've got that big day tomorrow, and you know, we can act use that as a support, you know, taking that liquidity job done up. We, you know, we move higher, uh, 106 and 105 pretty much. And we had some uh sellers come in here, 105.10, big influx of dumb uh sellers here and they entered right there on that candle wick that's all right uh, see that's where they entered short here so um whether or not they're going to be right they're probably going to be wrong and that's going to be a support so that's how you use the current positions okay when you're looking for big nodes that are sticking out uh gu no i think this might do okay uh because that gdp um this is that uh, better volumes candle. If you remember, there was a big volume node sticking out. I have removed the indicator because when I launch MetaTrader 4, it occupies the entire screen. So you just have to take my word for it. This is a bullish volume, okay? And so this is going to act as a support uh, going forward for a while because these are H4 candles. So it's fairly large time frame. One above is at 12350. One below is at 121. Even if we come and get that stop loss cluster, We've got that technical support. We are a buy. The buyers are in control. We're a little bit sideways there. So let's look at our trade of the day, which is a speculative trade of the day. I wouldn't recommend taking it because we should just be monitoring. And uh, so this is a, a short, according to our bubbles. Uh, we are a buy at the big picture. A bit sideways. The buyers are in control. One above is 64.40. One below is at 62.96. So uh, we can, from a bubble perspective, fall um, a little bit sideways here and there on the dynamic. So probably a good thing just to monitor. It might be all right for a short. And it might just be Kiwi weakness as opposed to dollar strength. It could just be the Kiwi weakness, couldn't it? So uh, very interesting. It's not really given us many clues. There's a fairly substantial wick above. And the uh, last H4 was a pretty much like a doji. If you can see, there's like a bit of indecision there. Uh, so probably an idea just to monitor our, uh, our trades of the day this week. And then we'll look at dollar Swiss and dollar yen. And if you want us to look at dollar CAD, just let us know. Uh, we should be falling on dollar Swiss because of that. We're really skewed. And um, we've got an interchange here. So we're 50-50 on the profitable uh, traders. On below is at 93 it's possible, and the one above is at 94.70. Now, remember, we have to target support when we're below pivot, okay? So that's really important. Keep it nice and simple. When we're above pivot, we target resistance, right? And then dollar yen. And, uh, you know, GU, EU, and NU all got their monthly pivot. They're above monthly pivot, so we have to remember that. So one above is 137.25, 50 pips away. One below is at 135.55. And they're going long. We might get the sell signal here on the 21 moving average. Should be interesting. If they go long against that, it's going to be a sell setup. See how that was the buy. We did all right on that, actually, from that particular setup there. So we've got another potential big move coming on the dollar yen. But they need to buy it. They need to go long. And we need to get that crossover. So that's it. I'll wrap up now. And I'll speak to you guys soon.